guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing kind of a little bit of quick nail art with my palette. I love it, so I thought I'd give you another show. So my base color for this one is the same as my base color for the last quick nail art, and it is number 25 from Ugly Duckling, topped with matte top coat. I'm using my daughter tool, my Ugly Duckling Detailer 2, my Light Elegance Stripey, and my Young Nails Micro Detailer. So. I've already got the number 25 down, I have the matte top coat on it, and I'm just going to come in and kind of start making the body of this little gnome. So I am using the Mosaic One Stroke Art Gel in 443, which is violet. I decided I wanted to do mine in that kind of darker color. I got this inspo from... Kaylee C. Nails, I hope I have said that right, on Instagram. So you should go follow her. I will try to remember to add her name like in writing down in the description box so that you can see it. So these are really cool. I kind of came across them and I was like, I really want to do some interesting nail art for you guys today. So I took the inspiration from hers. I tried to change it a little bit. It's kind of a hard design to change, to be honest with you, especially trying to do a Christmas gnome. But I think he's really super cool. So I've just made kind of your, your standard half moon situation here. I'm just kind of fixing it up a little bit. I decided that today's probably the day that, that this particular detailer needs to go to detailer heaven. Um, it wasn't acting very well today. And it's just a matter of, it's an older brush, I have a new one aside, but I will be ordering it again and I will be using the new one that I already have ordered because I love that brush. Same with this micro one that I'm using right now. Gosh, this is one of the best nail art brushes. So if you're looking to get a couple nail art brushes, these two would be great, great brushes to add to your collection. So I'm starting to make this little guy's hat and I'm using Young Nails Power Up, the Mission Control Power Up. It's what's in my palette. And I'm just kind of making his little hat, just forming it. This little guy was so much fun. I was so happy I found him. He's really interesting. So I find, if you're wondering why I'm drawing on a matte top coat, it's so much easier to do nail art on a matte top coat. And I know it's hard for some people to, to think this way, but looking at nail art with a matte top coat on it and taking pictures of nail art with a matte top coat, way better than a shiny top coat. So just give it a try. I do want to mention that I am flash curing in here just whenever I feel like I need to. And you should do the same, just uh, the gels that you're using might be runnier, your room might be warmer, there might be other circumstances. So just flash cure whenever you think you need to. And I do wanna tell you that all of this video is in real time. So the drawing is in real time. So this video is approximately seven minutes and 15 seconds and the majority of it is the nail art. So what you're not seeing is my flash curing, of course. Um, otherwise, you are seeing everything. So this is like a 10 minute nail art. So I'm gonna put in his little beard. The white I'm using here is the Fusion White Paints 101. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. I do tutorials, I do, um, product hauls, I do product reviews, I do a little bit of everything. Comment down below if you've tried this guy or if you want to and let me know how you make out. So I'm still making his little beard and I'm just going to color it in and then once I get it colored in I'm going to dry off my brush like I'm going to wipe it with just a dry wipe. Always just use a dry wipe, not alcohol on it. It'll, it'll make your brushes kind of spray out and you don't want that. So I'm wiping it off. I'm actually using the corner of the blue towel that you see there. And I'm gonna drag that out, dry brush, not in any, not in any new paint, not looking for any new product on there, just pulling that out. And that's where you're getting his little, his little spindly whiskers, which was a cute little touch. I thought that was the thing that drew me to her picture was it was a cute little touch of this little furriness that he has. So 
So I'm coming back in with my dotting tool and I'm doing the little dots on his hat. I feel like gnomes always have a red, a red hat with white dots. I'm not sure, maybe they don't, but in my world, I feel like they always have. So I'm kind of pulling color out of the big dot and using it for the little dots. It was kind of pooling over uh, and that just worked out well. Making them different colors. I thought his dots were pretty cute. I keep adding more and keep adding more. I was hoping I wasn't gonna add too many. You know, there's always that one dot too many. So I am using Ugly Duckling number 67 to put his little nose in there. And then put a little tiny highlight on it. And in the light he goes, and then he gets a matte top coat and he is done. So if you have anybody, even with maybe a bit of a shorter nail, I know I'm doing that on a long, long nail, but if you have anybody with a short square nail, shorter square nail, you could still kind of play with this design a little bit and have that. I love this palette, you guys. It's my mosaic palette. I got that from AR Nail Supply. So again, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. It means a lot to my little channel. Give this video a like and maybe even give it a share. I'll see you next time, guys.